just as a side note, I have yeah. on my bookshelf, I have three books that are yellow. Oh, yes. One of them is American Born Chinese by Jean, Jean Yang. And then do you want to guess what the other two are? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a, you know, I, <laughs> there's a lot of battles that you just end up picking with publishing. You don't have a choice of your book colors. You should, you should also line up the books that are eight by Asian writers that are red. Red yeah. and yellow, red and yellow, <laughs> literally. And I brought this up with my editor and she's like, no, I, didn't, I don't really notice it. Um, so, <laughs> so anyway, these are just things that kind of make you paranoid as an Asian writer. Cause you're like, maybe I'm just overanalyzing or maybe, mm-hmm. you know, if I think about like the sympathizer crying at HMAR, right? right. The waiting, they're all red covers. All red covers. Mm-hmm. Interior Chinatown, red cover, yeah. Yeah. right? Or it's a yellow yeah. cover. And I just sometimes think that there's this like, you don't even get the possibility of other colors. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's for another podcast. Okay, uh, okay, and, yeah. and that is for kind of just like talking about the publishing industry. Publishing industry, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we are, uh, we're going to end on a couple of light questions. Um, sure. Let's do, if you were not, or if you could do it all over again, would you change anything about your academic thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I would do it all the same, but I would not do it all over again. I'd rather die than do it all over again. So I think I okay. want another option. Do Fair it enough. Over. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Emily, you want to do number 15 here? Yeah. Do you have a favorite Chinese restaurant in New York and what's your go to dish? Yeah. Um, it's actually interesting. My favorite Chinese restaurant was China Blue. It was a Shanghainese place in Tribeca that shut down oh. um, <laughs> and during the pandemic. Um, and there's a soup there that I really love called Yan Du Xian, and it's um, a Shanghainese soup. Mm. But I also, there's also this like Jian Bing place in the Upper West Side that I also really like. And we, it was like Joe, um, Joe Steamroll. Um, and that's like a fast food place. And they do like kind of like this, the rolls and then Jian Bing. And that, that's been very good. It's not, it's not high end at all. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. Perfect. 